Hello, my name is Sackett, and we are playing Magic Infinitum 3, and a whole lot I want to do today. The first thing is I want to get into mystical agriculture. So we're going to need some stuff. Uh, we're going to need eight of these and one of these. So let's count red carpets here. That's going to be 16, 17, 18, 19 red carpets. A bunch of stone and some gold. Alright, go ahead and make these. We're going to need one of these. Very nice. And oh, we are one gold short. That's alright. And we're going to need eight of these. And we're actually going to set this up right down here. Because this is where you know, all our stuff is. So you place the uh, the central block down, and it shows you a little ghost image where the pedestals are supposed to go. There we go. Now we're going to need to apply a redstone signal to this altar to get it to work, and a stone button will work just fine. Now the first thing we're going to need are a whole bunch of these prosperity seed bases. Oh, there's a quest. Let's take a look. I lost my quests. Um, it crashed when I used the keybind. It just nothing was here. So I just uh, took the save and journey map and copied them and reinstalled the mod pack and and it was fine. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, so the next thing it wants is actually inferior seeds. So we got those growing. Our friendly neighborhood sylph here isn't producing seeds from a lot of the crops, like we're not getting wheat seeds. But we're certainly getting these inferium seeds. And we'll take a little bit of the essence back with us, because we're going to need it. Um, okay, so we're going to have to pick all this up. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, next on the menu, we're going to have to make, and this, this uses a tiered crystal mod so we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna go to the max level crystal as soon as we possibly can because we'll run through this stuff like gangbusters. Um, we'll need an Inferium gemstone. Okay, so we're gonna need some more of this. And we're gonna need a diamond. So let's uh, go ahead make the prosperity gemstone. Make the Inferium gemstone. Oh, time to sleep. All right, and now we'll go ahead and make the Infusion Crystal. Awesome. Now we don't need it for the first couple seeds we're gonna make, I don't think. Uh, no, okay. So the first four, we're gonna make these elemental seeds. Um, not all of these essences do anything, the air, is uh, is a well-known culprit. There's uh, you know some packs use it, but most pads, most packs don't. The earth essence we can use to make soul sand, so we're definitely going to want that. Now the infusion crafting setup uh, that we just put together has JI integration. Um, I'll show you how it goes. We're going to need this stuff though, this uh, air agglomerashi, whatever. Uh, and there are a few recipes that use stuff like that. But the iron seeds, for instance, I think is just iron. Like if we were to look at, yeah, silver is just silver. Uh, we're going to need some dirt. And uh, we're going to need one, two, three, four empty bottles. I guess that's what represents the air. There we go. And uh, what you do. Your, uh, the seed, the stuff of the corresponds to the seed you're making goes on the diagonal pedestals. And whatever tier of essence you're using, we only have the first tier right now, goes on the, in the cardinal directions. Put your prosperity seed base down, press the button, a nice little particle effect, and we got our air seeds. Now, 
these work the same way that these do. We'll get a higher chance for seeds if we were to plant them uh, in Inferium farmland. We're not actually going to plant the air seeds because, <laughs> because the essence doesn't do anything. Um, but uh, you get the idea. We'll do, oh, we got a quick cooldown here. I seldom run into the cooldown, I've noticed. I'll take this opportunity, see if we got anything backed up. No, nope, nothing backed up. In fact, she's probably, well, she's not out of source yet. It's not going to last that much longer, though. Where is she? Sylph? Hello? Oh, there you are. That's fine. So let's take a look at the water seeds. And the water essence has use. We can you know, get kelp from it. Clay is especially cool. Now that uses the water, like or whatever. Um, same deal, except buckets of water. Now, of course, we can only craft these one at a time because the water buckets don't stack. But uh, it won't take long. Uh, we'll run over here. Plop, plop. Stick our essence on. Use our seed base. Press the button. Pretty little effect. Let's go back. So because this is a, uh, you know, this that tier of seed, and then we'll go up to uh, to tier one. Wait a minute. Okay, no, those are also using Inferium. It may be that these elemental tiers don't actually need the farmland, but uh, that's, uh, that's how we're going to go. And it's all these tier one seeds use uh, the inferior essence, it's exactly the same, so I'm going to go ahead and make them. Now I've gone ahead and I've made the, the elementals and the tier ones. Um, there, there's also the wood seeds that aren't listed over here as a quest. But we're going to, our sylph's going to make this stuff pretty well for a while, but that agronomic source link, um, nothing's actually going to be growing out there, so nothing's going to be producing growth ticks. So we're going to make a volcanic source link. This will consume fuel to make source. We're also going to want to make a source relay, just like that. And it's a block of source gems and some gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and make that. And I'm going to run and do I still have it? Do I have it on me? I'm going to run upstairs and grab that Dominion Wand. I had it on me the whole time. Didn't see it. So back here, we've got a pedestal. It's being fed by a hopper. It's being fed by birch drawers. All right. We're going to put our volcanic source link right here. And I think that pedestal's close enough. We'll soon find out. Oh, crow. I hear these explosions. I don't know what they are. Now we're going to grab ourselves some blazing archwood. And we're going to throw it in here. Okay, yep, you see it disappearing? This thing is turning it into source. Oh, we're going to need another source jar. Let's uh, go take care of that real quick. We'll need uh, some more arcane stone, right? Source jar. Yeah, arcane stone and some glass. Okay. Let's uh, put the source jar down. Right here. Now this thing should... Okay, yeah. This thing will start uh, producing source. And it's going to send it right into here. We're going to put our source relay down right here. And this is what we're going to use to send material from this source jar to this source jar, or to send source, I should say. So, position set, relay set to take 
from here. Whoop, that's not what we want. Relay set to take, position set, relay set to send. And now what we should see is the source coming down here and filling up. Now this will, this thing will burn anything burnable, but you get more source from archwood and you get the most source from these blazing archwood logs. And with this setup, it, uh, it'll only burn this stuff up when the source has some place to go. So, uh, you know, you, you don't find yourself really with waste. Now, this stone by the source link will slowly change to magma and then to lava. And over the lava, it'll grow lava lilies. So there will be a little while here where our sylph will be in mortal danger, but hopefully she doesn't get hit by a spark. And we have more shards. The next tier of seeds takes the next tier of essence. And we're going to see... If the recipe is friendly, oh, it's friendly, okay. It's not all the way around. Um, you see, this has a durability on it. So that's Prudentium Essence. That's the next tier. So if we were to look at, uh, at seeds in JI again, for instance, nature seeds, use this stuff. And I'll have to make some of this stuff. Uh, since this is a tier 2 seed, we're going to use the tier 2 essence on the farmland. And you can see that's Prudentium farmland. And now we got our nature seeds going. So I'm actually out looking for bees to make the honey seeds with. And we found this spot. You want to watch out for this building. After you have those, those dreams we had in the first episode, where we went to the, the strange place, this is this structure is the next step to that mod. The Abyss, the Abyss 2? I think. What you do, and I've, I've tried, you can't break this thing. Um, what you do is you right click. And back in Strangeland. Now, uh, what we want to do is grab some of this stuff. as we can. We don't have much time here. There's a bunch. I fly a lot faster in here. I thought it seemed like I was flying slow in the overworld. I'm beginning to want to, because, like, I'm going a lot slower than I'm going here. Let's just keep having this stuff. Is there more somewhere? Yes, there is. Boy, it's being really generous with the... Oh! <laughs> Spoke too soon. Oh, no, no, we're still here. All right. The more of this we can grab, the better off we are. Okay, we got 52. Nice. Let's see if whatever was going on fixed our flying. Yeah! Now we're moving at the speeds I expect. Whatever was going on there? Oh, that's a butterfly leviathan from Worm Roost. We don't have what we need to tame that thing, but I'm going to mark it on the map. should mark this place generally. We'll call it Abyss House Butterfly Leviathan, because we're very clever. Abyss House Butterfly Leviathan. Leviathan? Leviathan! Call now! Bees! Now, ideal would be to get them all in their hive. I don't know where their hive. Oh, their hives. Where's your hive? It's right here. Hey. Campfire under there. There's one bee. Two bees. Three bees. We got our silk touch axe. We got a total bee location. 
achievement point. Chivo, whatever it is. Anyway, it's good. I found this little house. Looks like there's an attic up there, but I don't know how to get at it. Okay, there's nothing up here. It's nice, though. Barrels. Another barrel back here. Yeah, that one doesn't have anything in it either. Oh, wow. There's silver gliders from Worm Roost. I wonder if we can find a fish. Now, supposedly, you can tame these guys with fish. I have one fish. Would you like it? Would you like the fish? Let's see. Okay, you're supposed to shift with a fish. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Might still be airborne. Yeah. Probably doesn't work when it's uh Let's see if we can knock it loose out of here. There we go. I don't know what that uh, that color change is. <laughs> now, you can't even ride these things, but I, I want one. <laughs> Come on. Ah, finally landed. <clears throat> so shift. Now? Doesn't like it. I cannot get that thing to pick up a fish. So here we are in the nether. We're mining this soul stone, which you can see is from the Mystical Agriculture mod. In the stone, you can find solium ore. And we're going to need a lot of both. So I'm just going to mine a bunch of this. Now that soul stone cobble, that was a lot of experience. We're going to have to process several times um, through a furnace, and I don't even want to. Um, so what we're going to do, that didn't all go in there? OK, good. What we're going to do is take the furnace. Where's the furnace? It's in the barrel, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to take the furnace. And first, we're going to upgrade it to an Inferium furnace. And you see it's, it's I think, 120% means it's a little over, it's either a little over twice as fast or 20% faster. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can figure it out. We're going to need one block of Inferium essence, right? Right. We're also going to need two of these Inferium ingots. And it's the same idea as the Inferium gemstones, but you're doing it with iron instead of with diamonds. So go ahead and make those. And there we have one Inferium furnace. Now, I would like to get this tier since we have all the stuff. Okay, it's not like it's an extra rabbit hole. We got to make the Inferium Nuggets first or anything, so that's not too bad. Now it's either 60% faster or quite a bit faster. We're about to find out. So let's take all of this soulstone cobble, and we first have to smelt it up into soulstone. Okay, so I, I think 60% faster is what we're we're legitimately looking at here. 
Now we could go up to the next tier, but we need a few things to do that. The number one thing being more essence. So we're getting a lot of seeds, so we're going to make a seed reprocessor. Okay, what's a machine frame all about? Any kind of stone or those? Those are just iron ingots. Were those solium ingots? Solium ingots, okay. So we're going to need some solium dust. Fortunately, that's what we get just from mining. Um, you'll see what I mean. Like this is the this is what drops from that ore. Does it have? Do they have to be prosperity ingots? Let's see. They have to be prosperity ingots. That's fine. The other stuff is also going to process down into a dust. I think that's, I, I forget what it's called. Doesn't matter. We're going to need uh, one piece of stone, right? Right. So we'll make the machine frame. And we're going to need to make two hoes. There we go, and I think we need four more iron. And that should give us the base seed reprocessor. Now, you upgrade it the same way that you do the furnace tiers. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to Inferium. There we go. And then to Prudentium, so it'll be uh, it'll be that much better for us. Uh, let's uh, whoops, prosperity. I think it's first. There we go. Is this what we're trying to do? That isn't what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. Wonderful. So let's set this thing up somewhere. We're going to have it feed into a drawer, a hopper, and the seed reprocessor itself. And we're going to need another hopper on top of that. And we're going to put another one over here. And then a couple of barrels. That should be fine. So we'll throw some coal in here. And you see it's already burning and what it does is it fills up a buffer and then it stops it's pretty cool and what we want to do is take all of these seeds and go ahead and throw them up here we'll replace this with a drawer very soon now we're going to have these show quantity but we're not going to lock it because we're probably going to use this to reprocess other things. So we're going to get seeds at a at a furious rate from this. And uh, I think we'll finally we'll end up getting it faster than we get the essence. So this is really going to help. So here's our first stage of uh, soul stone processing. If we'd used silk touch, we could have skipped this step. But now we got soul stone. This you melt down into smooth soul stone. And this you melt down into soul dust. And with this you can make soul glass. And that's what we need. Also you can make blank skulls. That'll come in handy later. Ah, the aforementioned lava lilies. You can break these and you can use them to bridge across lava. Just like a lily pad. Except for lava. Meanwhile, we've been taking quite a bit of damage. <laughs> we've gotten... Uh, all the way to here and this will increase our rolls when we're rolling on a loot table like a loot chest and we're headed down here now for more life so we'll do uh, oh that's all fancy isn't it yeah there's a limit to this. Um, perk experience gained is good if you're resetting and redoing it and trying for something, but otherwise, you what what I find is that you you get what you're you're aiming for. 
And what's down here? Is that okay? That's more what we're looking for is this plus life stuff. Awesome. So while all this stuff is cooking up, I want to get into uh, decorating the house a little bit. And the first thing I want to look at is quark. A quark adds little decorative blocks. It's, it's where we're getting those bookshelves that we've been using, um, the fancy ones. But let's see what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm looking for stools. This, this is what we got for chairs in the pack. Um, and it's fine. Uh, let's, uh, they're not hard to make. They're just uh, slabs and wool, just like a bed. So let's take a look at uh, what kind of stone we have what we might do for a kitchen table first. Okay, I think we're going to go with andesite for a table here. So we should go with a nice colorful... Should this be over one more? Or maybe should we flip it? Actually, what, should, what should probably move is this stuff here, huh? Let's take a look at the red ones. Where are the red ones? I don't see the red ones. I see purple, I see magenta, I see red. Six ought to be enough, and we'll just set these up just like this. Boy, I don't know about that. I don't think that looks very good. Maybe we'll have more of a kitchen island, huh? <laughs> I mean, these are cool, but I feel like I might uh, set them out here, maybe. They look fine set apart from each other. Maybe that's what we'll do. Check that out. Like if we had one here and one here, one here and one here. I mean, we can sit on them. You know, I, th I think it's okay. Uh, we also have the supplementaries mod, which adds all kinds of cool things. One of which is this goblet. Let's see if we can... There we go. Now what's cool about this thing is you can put it down and you could fill it with a potion. So if we wanted... Uh, let's, see, let's see if some of this stuff would work. Let's try the animus. Yep. So we got... Uh, Glass of purple drink up here. Now, we don't have much in the way of furniture, but we do have these framed blocks. Okay, I need some sticks. I must have some sticks. Use more. There are four in there. We can finally be catching up on our sticks here. So, these are cool. We're going to make uh, eight of these framed cubes. And that'll get us four of the stairs. And you can put these down and then right-click basically any block on them. And you'll get uh, you'll get that texture on a block. So let's say that we wanted a couch. Ghost images are great. We just take uh, some wool, and there we go. And you can make these for all kinds of different shapes. So you got ladders, you got uh, all these interesting corners, you can do rail slopes, um, a little post, that's really cool. But we're going to make some signs. And some more stairs. And we're going to put it like so. Oh, a 
it does, it's not going to want to go there, is it? There's a trap door in that spot. That's okay. Where, where, where would we want to put this? You know what? Put it right here. Let's see. Gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be obvious what it is. Uh, what are we gonna do? We'll put it in here, why not? Um, so we'll put that down. I don't know how D got on there. I'm gonna put another one over here. And we'll make ourselves a nice armchair. And we can go like this. And make ourselves a different style, a couch. Uh, you know, pretty much any combination of these, you know, trap doors, pressure plates, all kinds of weird little blocks, torches. Um, uh, make all kinds of things. So we want to go up to the next tier of infusion crystals. Um, it looks like we can just use the old one, which is pretty friendly. Although we'll have to, uh... Yeah, I'm playing that curse tracker. I got a little entertainment system up there. Looking pretty good. Okay. And it didn't use up the Inferium Crystal. Interesting. Now we got uh, a lot from that... Uh, from that seed reprocessor. And what we're gonna do... Is we're going to turn a bunch of it into Prudentium with the old crystal. And I used up the old crystal there. So we'll take this and. Whoops. We're going to. There we go. This gets us the next tier of essence Tertium. Now, the Prudentium Furnace is pretty fast, but the Tertium Furnace is really fast, so we're going to upgrade this. Get that out of there. Oops. Okay, yeah, we're going to need, uh, let's get it together here. Need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So we will go ahead and make the Prosperity Ingots. Two Tertium Ingots. One Tertium Block. And one Tertium Furnace. Very nice. Now let's uh, throw all this in here. Got to process it two more times. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's that's trucking right along. Should go a lot better for us. Oh, we got the tertium on us. I can't think of a single reason not to get the tier four crystal. Let's see. There we go. Now we'll need a uh, Imperium Essence. Just four of them, though. Well, we'll need more for the Superium. Right? Go right on ahead and make uh, make the Imperium Crystal. Let's see. Uh, It's, it's the master that we want. Okay, so we just have to have the Superium Crystal and a little bit of Insanium. We don't need all six crystals. That's that's good. Now we can only we can only make the second tier 
with uh, the first crystal. So we've got to uh, we got our work cut out for us here. I think we'll have to go back and get ourselves some prosperity. Gemstones? I'm sure we will. And I'm sure this is not going to be enough. All right, here's our Superium. And with this, we can make the Superium Infusion Crystal, but... Oh, no. That's... I got confused. We've already been doing that. No problem. Okay, here it is. And then we'll just need, uh... We'll just need four Insanium for the Master. And the Master should do everything for us. Continue to decorate as, uh... All of that stuff's been grown and processing. Um, I made one of these clock blocks. Just a clock and some planks. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't make this look like something. And we'll just throw some trap doors down. One right there. good. Thanks to our new fancy furnace, we've finally built up enough soul dust to start working on soul crops. Now the first thing we're going to need is this here dagger. So we're going to need a gold sword. We're going to need two solium ingots. I think we have to make prosperity ingots first. Uh, let's see. Yep. And two solium ingots. And there we go, one solium dagger. This will allow us to harvest souls. Well, okay, we got souls. Where are we going to put them? We're going to put them in soul jars. Now, this soul glass is the soul dust that we've been smelting over here, uh, just combined with some glass. And uh, you need four soul jars per seed. So we'll take our solium ingots and our soul glass, and we'll make ourselves some soul jars. We're probably going to want to get the dank out. So let's say we want to make some sheep seeds. We'd, uh, Go ahead and find some sheep. We got these four jars. Cool. One sheep. One sheep essence. So we're going to need to kill 32 sheep. And then we'll never have to kill a sheep again. Now let's say that for whatever reason, it's, uh, it's not worth... Uh, you, you don't want to, to go out and kill, say, 40 creepers with your dagger. Or even 40 zombies. We'd rather kill 40 zombies with the scythe. Oh, one short. Now for that, there's the soul extractor. And we're gonna need, we're gonna need eight more solium dust. Now this, uh, you put in jars and something, and you get, uh, you get your soul jar filled. So what else do we need for this thing? We're gonna need a machine frame, some more iron. Let's go, where is it? There it is. Machine frame, easy. Two more iron. Okay. So, what other uh, tier two seeds do we have? Let's check it out. Well, we've got chicken. So, an egg will fill a soul jar 0.25. A feather, fill a 0.25. Raw chicken. Fill a point five. 
cow. Same idea. Beef will fill it up 0.5. Leather will fill it up 0.25. Now there are seeds for the hostile mobs too, so let's let's say we wanted to make uh make creeper seeds. Let's get some coal. We could get our creeper essence. Put our coal in there, put our soul jar in there. This doesn't automate well, it doesn't even shift click well. Um, but it fills soul jars real well. And uh, we got plenty of gunpowder. So going forward, I won't be showing that much more mystical agriculture. It's you know, once you've seen it, you've uh, you've seen it. There are a few things coming up uh, late in the uh, in the tree, and we'll we'll show those when we get to them. But uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.